Hello literature lovers. Today as you can see I am discussing Wuthering Heights by Emily Brown. Her only novel and but still so great, so popular and I personally like it and it was converted in many languages into a movie and this novel is filled with emotions and different diabolical circumstances climax is quite different and we are always you know mesmerized and um, i my personal teacher also got a chance to visit that place because that era that architecture is still exists in london and if you get a chance to visit uh, that trust cross grange and that buildings that place which is mentioned here that mansion of that lockwood house that is the rascal's ranch is still present there and and the architecture is really really you know we'll get an look of the old era and you can feel it and since i it was in my post in my post graduation i got a chance to read this novel when i was doing it so i am quite I'm aware of it and and I really quite intrigued and really followed it all together and I personally like it and in every context and how the story moves on especially the way it was presented by the narrators and it was narrated in different point of view so that is one of my favorite things that i like it and the characters names are quite symbolical also heathcliff and how this adopted child was beaten up and tortured by his step brother and how he got intrigued and that supernatural element that also put a spice kind of thing on your mind and how it matters other characters that nanny that took care of the children in the house and how the financial conditions changes drastically and different scenes that we can see how a normal person transforms into an evil person and then later on he transforms again into it that's the character analysis then you can see it how we can see the characters Heathcliff Catherine and all at Gallanton Nellie Dean and Lockwood mm, with the conversation of Lockwood only it all started and if you get a chance to watch the movie and that is also quite great and the way it is presented is also lovable enough to do it i personally like it and the emotions that are aroused and the overflow of the such circumstances and that courage and the will of a person to succeed in life how in any how that's a secret in the novel that you can see that how he clip succeeded in life and that's a question which is not answered and how he took revenge and in all together we can say it's a revenge novel but still love is the main theme that's my point of view you can have your own for that is the beauty of this novel that whenever we reads it whenever i read it i find something different or some different kind of theme uh, strikes my mind and you can also feel your own side who's the villain and who is not and uh, the symbolism affects us and you to i'm talking about it and the families two different families how they are attached with each other each other and that pedigree is a bit complicated but it's simple enough so if you stress a bit you can get and there is some personal touch in it so that also you can understand and talking about the themes i was talking about that is the love you can see how it is love is a theme and 
which runs throughout the novel and really i also find it that love is the theme and that class difference is there so that is not so special since we all are aware of it about the class difference and um, it is there all over the world and that is also one of the reason it's so universal thought can be used symbols are also quite important in this novel although it is not used so commonly in that era but emily brown was really good enough for it and these are some of the key facts that you should understand while pointing it onwards and this is the style of her and you can read it clearly in the uprising and the downstreaming of the period the climax is important and there is a fall of action is there foreshadowing is also there which is used so that's how we can summarize thanks